guys, what's up? So, as you can tell by the title, I have a review for you on the new Rimmel 25 Hour Lasting Finish Foundation with Comfort Serum. This foundation claims full coverage. It is enriched with a comfort serum, instant perfect coverage that lasts all day, sweat, heat, humidity, and transfer proof for up to 25 hours. That's a big claim for foundation. I just recently tried the Pro Matte from L'Oreal and honestly, I, I really don't like it. My skin has changed a lot. It Right now, it's super dry. I feel like I might like this one. I love the other Rimmel 25 Hour Lasting Finish Foundation and also their Match Perfection Foundation. These are just like my holy grail. Um, this has just been staring at me. I've been wanting to try it, but the lighting has been off, like everything's been, you know, see, dogs barking. Anyways, so I'm going to go ahead and give this a try. I'm so excited to try this. I don't know why. I haven't, I've seen one review on it, but, you know, and I try not to watch any more on it because I want to, like, really give you a good review. I got the color, let me tell you the color, 201 Classic Beige because I try to stay self-tanned. Um, I know you really can't tell right now in this lighting, but I'm pretty self-tanned. So this could be too dark or too light for me. No telling. So I'm not going to wear, uh, wear a primer with this. I'm just going to put it on as is. I'm going to go ahead and put a little on the back of my hand. So this is a pretty, I want to, not too thick, but not as liquidy as the other 25 hour. I'm going to put the other one on the other side to show you. See, it, this one's pretty liquidy. That one just kind of comes out. So, yeah, and this one is really pink. I don't know if you can tell. I think this is a little bit more pink or maybe a little more neutral. I don't know. I'm going to try it. I'm going to use... What brush am I going to use? Hey, yeah. I think I'm going to use my buffing brush from Real Techniques. I haven't used this one in a little while. This looks really pink. Ooh. I don't know. So I'm just going to put this on. Wow, that covered up my pimples pretty well. Well, have it not done blending, but I need to put the mirror up here. <laughs> I'm doing such a good job with the the haul. So, so far it has the same smell as both of the lasting finish before and the um. Match Perfection. It smells exactly like those two foundations. Oh, and I like, actually really like the smell of them. <laughs> Isn't that weird? They just smell clean. Like, I don't know. As far as full coverage, I feel like this actually is a pretty full coverage foundation. And I'm really not using a lot to begin with. So I think that it's covering pretty well. It feels a little bit sticky to the touch. Okay. So this is half of my face done. I'm going to zoom you in so you can see how well it covered. So I have rosacea like right here, just a little bit of redness throughout my cheeks and that covered it up really 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 well. Um, I have two pimples here. You can still see them poking through a little bit but not as red as they were before and it just it really evens everything out really well. It actually matches my fake tan like perfectly. That's awesome. Another thumbs up to that. Let's see, I'm going to put a little bit on my nose. I'm right down the center where there's a little bit of redness. I actually really like the way this foundation feels. 
For a full coverage foundation, this feels lightweight. You can feel it when you touch your face, but if you if you powder over it, I'm sure you won't feel that. Also, I just like the feeling of it. Like you, it doesn't feel like you have anything on your face as far as foundation. Okay, I have to be a little bit quiet because my niece is my little my little green bean is right there. Um, so this foundation is oh my gosh probably gonna be my new holy grail I love the way that it feels on my skin I love the way that it looks like for a full coverage foundation this does not feel heavy at all um, so I'm gonna go ahead and powder and conceal I don't even think I'm gonna powder I'll let you know if I powdered or not but I'm gonna con put my concealer on and finish up my makeup and I'll come back and um, let you know I'm also going to do a little demo of the Rimmel Provocalypse in this video as well and give you my opinion on this at the end. So this is kind of like a two-in-one video for you all. So I'll be back in a second. Alright guys, I'm back for a second. I want you to meet someone. Look at it. You ready? <gasps> look at the camera. She's like, um, no, there's a mirror right in front of me. So I'm going to look at myself. <gasps> Who is that? I see you. Yes, I do. Who is that girl? Who is that? Okay. <laughs> I'm going to finish my makeup now. Okay, so I've put on the lip, the Provocalypse. I'm going to go ahead and put on some of the balm because it feels a little bit sticky. Oh, yeah, that makes it feel so much better. Mm, yes, so far um, this foundation is amazing. I powdered using the Agent Shine Zero from Benefit just in the T-zone. Okay, so I'm in a hurry. The time is now. It is a little bit later in the day because I've been helping my mom watch Addison. It's 440, but I do plan on being out a little bit, so I'm going to go get my nails done right now, and when I get back, I will let you know how the foundation is holding up. So I'll see you guys then. Alright guys, the time is now 6.51. So far, everything still looks good. Um, with all of my foundations, I usually get uh, like my laugh lines start to show. You can see whenever I smile, but like whenever I have my face relaxed, you really can't see them as much as you usually can with my other foundations that I wear. As far as uh, right here, I usually get my... My creases right here usually start to show pretty bad by now, like literally within two hours they'll show up. But, safe to say, everything looks really good. Mm -mm -mm. And oh my gosh, this lip color. This is insane. This is amazing. I'm about to have dinner, which involves shrimp scampi, and that's pretty... Uh, an oily dish so that'll be the true test as far as it lasting on the lips but this stuff looks awesome and see with me and lip color I usually get it um, bunching right in here and it hasn't happened yet which is so awesome because that is the most annoying thing this is so comfortable on the lips like you really can't feel it on the lips it's not sticky at all it's just it's like an extra it's just like your lips, basically. So this so far is a... Yes, so is the foundation. I love the foundation so far. Again, it doesn't feel heavy. Um, I'll have to wear it again another day and, like, update you, especially whenever it gets hotter outside. It is winter, and my skin usually does tend to change. But as of right now, it is amazing. So I will check back with you in May... I don't know probably around 10, 11, and I will let you know my final thoughts on this foundation. Yeah, so I'll see you then. All right, guys, so the time is now 11.57. I am pooped. I started to lay down in my bed and watch a movie, but then I was like, I have to finish this video. So my final thoughts on this foundation is big thumbs up. Um, it looks awesome. It feels awesome on the skin. I am sorry about that. And as far as the lip goes, it kind of has... 
Oh my gosh. It's kind of like creped in the middle, but it has lasted for seven hours and like it still looks pretty decent. So I give both of these products two big thumbs up and I want you all to check them out because they are amazing. And yeah, I love them very much and I hope you guys check them out like I just said five times. Yeah. So let me know what you guys think about this if you've tried it and give me some suggestions for other videos and let me know what you think of this one, okay? Um, you can clearly tell I'm like tired. <laughs> All right. Good night guys. Bye.